I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin. In this video, we're going to have a look at Unix gaming. Nothing in this video is financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. Unix gaming is a hub platform, basically all about crypto gaming. They have a launchpad coming up. They have a gaming guild. They have all kinds of things related to NFTs. They run token staking. So let's have a look what the actual Unix platform is all about and how you can benefit from this as a play to earn player or as an investor, potentially. I have the platform open right here. I have the light paper. I have all their social channels. We'll go through it one by one. So this is the Unix Gaming light paper. I've been told by the team, which I spoke to twice this week on a one and a half hour call each. So we spent three hours on calls. I want to know everything about Unix. And now I do. The actual white paper is coming up uh, and the light paper I have here right now for review. So basically they have in their white pa uh, light paper already 29 pages, quite steep. They basically go over the entire Unix ecosystem, what they focus on and what it's all about. It's quite a unique setup. So definitely do pay attention to this because this is a true, true gem potential right here. So about Unix Gaming. Unix Gaming is an early adopter in the play to earn space with monthly revenue of $250,000 and an NFT portfolio currently valued at 1.4 million. We are already the second largest community in the metaverse. Unix has provided over 600 income streams through scholarships, breeders, research and development moderators and teachers. After the token raise, we'll aim to provide 9,000 scholarships in developing countries around the world. Unix will also be educating close to 30,000 people per week for free by providing them with full-time education program. We're currently developing our own play to earn game, which will launch in 2022, 2023, and are partnering with other play to earn games later this year. These communities will all form a part of the Unix ecosystem. With our rapid growing partnership base, we aim to be the market leader by 2023 and have 1 million scholarships in the blockchain and metaverse space by 2027. Definitely heavy focused on the full gaming ecosystem. That's why my primary reason why I think Unix gaming has so much potential. It's not focused on just the guild. It's not focused on just the scholarship, not just the launch pad. It is basically everything tied in together, which obviously is an extreme extremely ambitious project, but I am quite bullish on this. Unix Gaming current state, 190,000 community members already, 3,000 scholars and $250,000 monthly revenue. I think the scholars is the biggest part, really, really impressive. These scholars obviously drive a lot of play to earn potential. Unix Gaming year one target, 500,000 community members. Well, you can see the current state, they, they are well on their way to easily reach that. 10,000 scholars and 3.6 monthly revenue in millions. 3.6 million, that's a lot of money. Unix Gaming mission. So it's built out of several layered mission steps. Unix mission is to be the first digital nation with the biggest virtual economy utilizing our community asset and DAO token in the metaverse. Unix Gaming brings together the fun of gaming and helping people in developing countries by using the play to earn model. It is definitely very, very important that the developing countries have a huge opportunity with the play to earn model. That is where you'll find the first adaption, right? If somebody can earn $20 a day playing your game, then in a tier one country, it might not as be as beneficial, but in developing country, it does make a lot of sense. With our scholarship structure, we have created one of the largest communities known as a guild worldwide with around 190,000 members. These guilds basically from an investor point of view, which is my point of view, right? Uh, I think it's one of the best things. I buy a lot of NFTs, which I hold for appreciated value. However, they are underutilized. If I can give them to a guild, they use these NFTs in the games to play to earn. And then I get a percentage of the, the earned fee right? And I still have the ownership over my NFT. It's a win, win, win for everybody. It's one of the best things I see upcoming in crypto gaming right now. Unix provides training, management and support for our gaming talents to help them perform at the highest level. Gamers and non gamers have the unique opportunity to earn an income comparable to a Western wage. They can achieve this through playing online games similar to Axie Infinity. Unix gaming play to earn setup. 
in-game asset ownership provides additional value to the owner when the asset is played or used in the game. So that's what I was just talking about, one of my favorite new things. The play-to-earn model creates its own ecosystem that is not 100% tied to the conventional crypto. Players could potentially multiply their monthly full-time income simply by playing the game for a few hours a day. NFTs are lent to scholars for in-game scholarship programs with a profit-sharing model. My focus there. NFTs are lent to scholars for in-game, yeah, and profit share. So the gaming space definitely has that potential right there. And that's basically uh, pay to play, pay to win, right? And then pay to earn. Uh, the future average income, $500, basic salary in developing countries, $250. So definitely a lot of potential there aligned with the growth. I cover crypto gaming all the time on this channel. And this is what I truly believe in, that the adoption of uh, players will become more and more and more. Uh, and, and they will slowly move into the play to earn space as soon as they see that potential. Here's a comparison to XC Infinity, right? We all know how well they have performed overall with their setup and what you can learn from it. All right, so this is quite important, right? We see a lot of these platforms or at least a lot of ambitious projects and why would we choose Unix? So I'm ready to get convinced. Axie Infinity requires three axes to create a team to play, which cost about $1,000 to $2,000. We have extensive specialized knowledge, in-game mechanics surrounding strategy, crypto, blockchain that will help our scholars perform. All right, so they take away that barrier. The vast majority of players from developing countries, where the monthly salary is between $100 to $50, $250, in both developing and developed countries, the $1,000 entry point to build a team will represent a significant barrier. Yep, that makes sense. There are millions of people across the globe looking for scholarships to play the game. We provide scholarships, education, training, and management for the community. The token will be Unix governance token for the DAO and will enable the community to be more involved with the evolution of Unix. The token launch will enable Unix to begin moving towards the goal of 10,000 scholarships and thousands more in the years to follow. In addition, we provide a completely free education program for members. So that is nice as well, depending on obviously what the actual education part there is. I assume that is a creation pattern for mass adoption, right? The expertise, all right? So we're already one third into the light paper. It reads quite easy. It's, it's a good overview. The expertise. Our team is specialized in minting and managing play to earn capacities to maximize asset return. Well, that is what our, my expertise is as well. Look for the main opportunity on how to make money with crypto NFTs. So we align our expertise is there. We identify and monetize upcoming play to earn projects. That's where it begins. We scout and train professional play to earn gamers. We buy, sell and develop in game assets and provide revenue streams to community members in the metaverse. We coach, develop, and manage the scholars. We see members as the heart of our community. As such, we aim to provide a fair and incentivized payment model. Engaging members can even become part of the management team if they demonstrate leadership qualities. The expansion with the capital raised, we aim to expand our existing portfolio of metaverse assets and continue in investing in and promoting play to earn games. Right, so that's like a continuous loop. If you see that loop, and I will draw it out later, I will make like a little drawing where you basically see that the Unix ecosystem, it's a full ecosystem, and that's why I think it's so interesting. So the goals participate at the forefront of the NFT gaming, constantly create and improve the community, incentivize community members, giveaways, rewards, new game expansion through employing a team of tech and research specialists, build and automate processes. Okay, fair enough. The goals, 100 million in revenue, 500K members, 10,000 hours of education and 10,000 scholarships. I think these two are the money metrics and these two are the way to achieve that, right? So the goals in money and scholars will give us the foundation first of community members and ours. Studied. So this is how the scholarship system works. I think this is very, very important. Players join the Unix community. Unix lends NFTs to them. A scholarship is created. Scholars start play, playing to the play to earn game. They earn in-game currency. Profit goes back to Unix to create more scholarships. 
players can earn high incomes through playing the game. Yeah, I think this is very, very, very good system. DAO participants benefit from being involved with the growth of the community itself, providing a positive and real social impact. Unix Gaming manages all accounts and trains players to create more revenue. This enables them to earn 30% more than the average player. Players have the potential to earn a full-time income with the play-to-earn model. They have access to free education and are supported by one of the biggest gaming industry communities worldwide. Facts. Okay, cool. So the actual community. So we have created an impressive community with over 190,000 members in five months. We have 30 play-to-earn streams on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube, over 5.5 million followers and subscribers. They have 3,000 scholars under management, and we're currently removing inactive users. So yeah, obviously the inactive users are quite important. They started in July, in basically four weeks, probably a big marketing campaign, they reached 50,000, then it went 150,000, it went back to 100,000 by moving probably the inactive users, and then on September 20th, they re reached 190,000. So now we are very, very far into 2022 already, right? Six months later. So probably uh, when they bring out the white paper, which should be, I think, in the next couple of weeks, uh, there will be a huge update on this. And I, I'm quite, quite pumped to see where they are at right now because as far as I've seen and what we'll look at in a second, they are moving real, real fast. So the Unix expansion, Unix has already invested in the following play to earn games and plans to invest in every high potential play to earn game entering the market going forward so we got axie infinity plant versus undead my DeFi pet all the bigger ones as well sandbox obviously crypto blades splinterlands chumbi valley uh, decentraland right startless very big portion of the biggest names neighbor alice uh, and some smaller games there as well okay so the dow token yeah very important Fun fact, I just bought um, the Maximum tier on their new launchpad. So they haven't uh, launched the launchpad yet, but it will soon do their first IDO. And I bought into the highest tier. And I will explain you why in a second. Well, in a second, probably in a couple of minutes. And we'll do that in Excel. Because I know everybody keeps asking me, when are we going to do the Excel work again? And we are going to do it today. The token, we are creating a decentralized governance token for investors to take advantage of the opportunity afforded by the play to earn gaming revolution. Through our token ecosystem, we reward our players with in-game rewards for their skills and online activity, which in time will become the game currency for Unix on game. Unix Gaming is a DAO on the Ethereum network for play to earn economies, and it's also available on Polygon to reduce fees. The Unix gaming platform enables anyone, including but not limited to DAO participants, token stakers, and gamers to experience and grow the emerging. Okay, very, very, very nice. Well, and simple, I would say. Token holders have the right to vote, make sense, make everything less complex. Token faults and opportunities. Revenue. Revenue from Axie Infinity Breeding. Scholarship vault. Revenue through scholarships. Launchpad vault. Launchpad and early access revenues. NFT Marketplace Vault Revenue Through Marketplace Fees, NFT Merchandise Vault Revenue Through E-Commerce, Unix Gaming Vault Revenue Through Unix Game Ecosystem. So these are basically the revenue streams. Breeding, Scholars, Launchpads, NFT Marketplace, NFT Merchandise, Unix Gaming Vault. I am big on the breeding, I'm big on the scholarships, I'm big on the Launchpad, I'm big on the NFT Marketplace. I'm not so big on merchandise. It's never been my thing. Uh, I like to wear my own clothes. As you know, nine, nine out of 10 videos, I wear this white dress shirt, uh, of which I have 25, because uh, that's just my swagger. Uh, I don't like branded clothing. I don't think wearing games, I, I wouldn't want to wear merch. But I do understand that if you're really fan of a video game, that maybe the gamers like to wear that merch, but I don't see it as a huge income stream. Maybe I'm wrong. And the Unix game fault revenue through the game ecosystem, that's obviously huge when they bring out the game. So five out of the six revenue streams I would deem as uh, worthy, right? The opportunity to have voting rights on the next play to earn games and events of the Unix community, launchpad early access to seed, private and IGO. So all the rounds, exclusive access to NFT drops and allocations interesting early access to all unix roadmap releases the unix token can be earned through community activities as a reward through tournaments events loyalty rewards 
there is a 1 billion supply on Ethereum, but they also support Polygon nowadays. There was a 5% seed sale, 13.5% private, 5%. This is 18, so we're at about 23.5. Then quite big on the race, right? But then again, uh, it's quite an ambitious ecosystem in general. 20% for the team, that's normal. 4% for advisors, treasury, in-game rewards, liquidity, community, quite big on the community and the in-game rewards, I think, are reserved then for their own game. Okay, we're aiming to raise funds to expand our NFT pool, accumulate land plots, being development of our own play to earn game, invest into other, finalize development of the Unix launchpad, marketing leader, consulting and setup. Okay, so this all makes sense. Uh, they have a clarification of the use of the fund. So they were raising 10 million, which is a lot of money. Uh, however, when I look at this, so other play to earn games, 900K, legal consultation, that's always super expensive, 380K, in-game NFTs, 6 million. So this is basically the foundation of the scholarships, right? So th that makes sense. I think it's a little high relative to the other components. So Unix game and Launchpad, they, I think there's like either that, that's really cheap to build or is a little out of proportion. Liquidity is obviously quite important. The marketing is on the low side. Right, so 750k on marketing, which is this bracket right here, and 6 million on NFTs. Um, you might want to funnel a little bit over, but I do say it's subject to change. Uh, I would push a little bit more money to marketing. As you have such a big ecosystem, you might as well get that brand out there properly. All right, so this is the DAO, how it flows. So the Unix gaming profits go into the Unix ecosystem. Expansion, community token holder, Unix treasury, launchpad NFTs, basically go like that. New scholars, new projects, land NFTs. And then you have on the other side, the, the revenue generating activity. Oh, this is expansion. Land NFTs, play to earn games, scholarship, renting, launchpad, marketplace fees. Then the actual DAO is made up out of the founder, advisor, treasury, investors, community, advisors, treasury, investors. Okay. I don't really understand this bottom part, the hover here, because it's the same as this, but I assume this is the council that basically pushes this change. Then the profits go back for the decision making and redistribute it on the right side for expansion. Okay, the roadmap. So we are in quarter one right here. Uh, so they have 100 scholars, 100k community, so they achieved this. Seed round, they launched, they already achieved that. Unix Gaming Studio, it's up. Uh, Polygon migration is live. Uh, centralized exchange listing is yet to happen, but that's probably due to the market conditions. Treasury report, I haven't seen that. Unix Launchpad IGO, that's coming up. And target of 5,000 scholars, I think that has been achieved as well. Education platform, Unix Guild expansion, NFT platform. So they're making a lot of moves quite quickly. Right, they're basically doubling per quarter, uh, and that's why, in my opinion, why I think this has so much potential. NFT gaming gear collection, NFT clothing line, game demo. I'm mostly looking forward to this, not really to this. I don't really care, um, and I don't really know gaming gear collection. And maybe it's like mouses and mouse pads. I think that's more of a branding kind of thing, but a, a very important. But not this is like I don't really care. I think this is more important than clothing. Unix Foundation, Unix Game Closed Alpha, uh, Unix Game Closed Beta, and then Open Beta, and then the game release. Um, obviously, the longer you go in the future, the more vague the roadmap becomes, but that's that's fine. I think we should definitely focus on the short term. It's quite an ambitious project. They have so many things planned. Uh, as long as they can execute on the short term, then the long term should be fine as well. All right, the actual launch pad, the most important part, I would say, for, for most of us. Crypto games have earned recognition as some of the most profitable blockchain products and consequently gaming items and tokens have become extremely desirable. With the support of the wider community and the play to earn social networks, we're developing the Unix play to earn launchpad for the metaverse IGO. We will not only launch new play to earn games, but will also offer marketing support from our expert team and create a visual presence for them by providing 24 hour streaming on YouTube, Twitch and Facebook. So this is not only the actual launch of the game, it's the support as well. So they offer the community, investors, marketing, esports streaming, and this is basically the ecosystem I was referring to before. So you can get in. So do we need to make the Excel? I think we'll just have a look at it now and do the Excel investment at the end. 
So guaranteed allocation uh, lottery. So this is not guaranteed allocation. Pool weight of 30, 2000 tokens get you common. Early access to gear and merch, a pool weight of 65. Again, lottery still, 5,000 tokens. Early access to NFT drops, early access to the merch. You do have guaranteed allocation. As of rare, you need to hold 20,000 tokens with a pool weight of 145. So you can see uh, the pool weight is not uh, linear, right? So this is basically times 10 would give you 300 pool weight, but you get 145. So smaller players on Unix definitely have a place right you have early access to games uh, you get all the other benefits with guaranteed allocation pool weight of 400 so here it's a little bit more exponential right so doubles and definitely you can see the pool weight here and then you have a private chat with the founding team the nft treasury access all the other things guaranteed allocation 700 plus uh, private allocation uh, pool weight and you have private allocation uh, you need a hundred thousand tokens and this is the one i just got why i did have a chat with the founding team twice this week uh, i was really impressed with everything that's doing in the ecosystem and obviously i'm a little bit of a bigger player so for me it was not a problem i always tell people about launch pads when we review launch pads the best time to get into a launch pad is when they haven't launched anything that's when the token is the cheapest and you can get the highest tier. So I was going to live up to my own advice, which I always give and get into the highest tier, uh, which I will show you later. All right, the education program is quite interesting. So the free education program is designed for the community to learn and acquire skills that will create more opportunities. Through the education program, we can identify talent individuals who can then place into employment with our blockchain. So basically it is scouting through the own community having them take tests and rewards, basically give them rewards, right? Uh, and if they show potential there in terms of the rewards, um, you basically get your own employee pool somewhere out of that. And obviously, if you educate them on the games, they will perform better in the games as well. The Unity game, Unity Rise of the Unknown. The game is currently in the early development stage. There are the options that will be available to the player participating in combat through the use of characters, weapon NFTs for Unity tokens. So the Unity token will definitely be one of the main, main um, aspects to the game Unity, right? Um, that makes sense because the game is called Unity. So the Unity tokens, that connects with that. Okay, makes sense. In-game tokens, Unity game roadmap, first character sale, gaming Alva. So yeah, probably this is something I would want to get involved in as I'm now so heavy into the Unix ecosystem. I will take every opportunity they have uh, to participate. Uh, but that's basically a chronological order, which we always see. It's nothing super special here. I would like to see the game demo though. So as, as soon as there's footage available, I want to see it. Unity, Unix game, Unity utilizes play to earn model by distributing uni tokens throughout gameplay giving players nfts by increasing their use through future features oh, that's a difficult sentence nfts can be freely traded on the marketplace for unity tokens which can be traded okay so that's basically how they collect the marketplace fees now to the team we go merka basil so this is the guy I spoke with, the CEO and founder, a pioneer in gaming, metaverse designer, and a passionate veteran pro gamer. Former fleet operations manager in the cruise industry who has led large teams of 400 plus through multiple 480 meter openings, pivoting to build a team that can change communities across the globe and lead the era of play to earn. Then you got Nick on the operations side, you got Eric, as a co-founder, you got Sandy on the finance, you got Joe as the head of education and a co-founder, you got Andrew, which I also spoke with, you got Henry on the marketing side, and you got Connor on the sales, right? So you have basically two, four, six, eight key people, right? Because this ecosystem is quite big, there's a huge portion of the team not displayed, they're just basically displaying the management team uh, at this uh, at this point, right? Then they have the advisors, Kyle Chase. So founder and CEO of Master Avengers Pay Network, co-founder of the House of Dow Crypto Exchange. Okay, they got Norman. Well, we'll go on LinkedIn. We'll check them out one by one. I think that's important. Tobias, they have a huge advisory board. 
Well, it is obviously raising $10 million, uh, but there's like eight advisors. So 4% on the tokenomics isn't even that high with this many advisors, right? And then you have the investors. So the first time I looked at the investors is basically Banter Capital. So Banter Capital pointed me into, because that's the one I follow, Animoca Brands, Banter Capital, when it comes to the, to games, right? Um, there are some investors here like Master Ventures, like uh, this guy who owns it. Uh, I don't really like him that much. Well, I do. I have nothing against the guy. I just don't like how his company uh, functions as a VC, right? Uh, but you definitely see that there's a lot uh, of action going on here, uh, especially when you look at the partnerships and investments that they have made into the gaming scene already. So get in touch on Unix Gaming, all these different things. We're actually going to go to LinkedIn and check out the team, which I think is quite important. So this is me, Unix Gaming. There we go. They have a good presence. Okay, Unix Gaming registered in Switzerland. 15 employees. So we got the strategic advisor here, Tobias the head of partnerships, Simon, you got Mirko, and you got Nick right here. So they do have everything like, so we got Sandy, perfect. So they have the banners and everything. So he's from Australia. There we go, this guy, 500 connections, normal profile. We even have a connection in common, that's funny. Then we got Cindy, who's on the finance side of things at Unix. And then we got Mirko, basically uh, the CEO guy. Ooh, he has a cool banner as well on Unix as the overview. So the main thing with I think with the team is that they should be uh, transparent, have a good overview, head of partnerships, looks good looks fine and then they have a whole lot of other people that are involved with unix uh, like the co-founders here he has a banner but I, I would appreciate a more professional profile but he, he is like a little bit more on the on the background i assume because if we look him up as well here uh, eric so it's more about e-commerce for him there's not much information on him relative to uh, the other ones, right? He doesn't have a specific assigned role just as co-founder. Maybe they're still figuring it out for him. Eric, all the best to you. Good luck. <laughs> Hopefully they'll find the spot for you on the team. Um, all right. So this makes sense. I'm just going to close this light paper. That was basically the entire light paper, uh, which was already half, more than half of a white paper, I would say, right? It was quite significant indeed. Uh, when we look at the Unix uh, launchpad, the token is currently at 19 and a half cents, which is extremely affordable. We're going to the overview first. So they have kind of a new setting, right? It just basically uh, shows an opt-in, some news. Uh, the community members right now sitting at about 193,000 scholars, already over 5,000, right? So the update definitely uh, occurring this moment is already live. The viewers on streams, I assume this is per month, 21 million uh, being tracked in real time, quite cool. The latest tweets, information, and then they have all the games uh, that they invested in, right? So this is like a full list of all the games that you can watch, the games that you could potentially play uh, and all this. So I think this is cool. I wouldn't look at this because everything is moving all the time. It's fucking with my brain. Uh, let's move to the staking. So they have a yield.unixgaming.org and you can stake. Do not send funds directly to the contract. That makes sense. So basically they have a liquidity pool and basically a single asset staking. So the pool has a 92.4% APY and then you have a 284.5% APY on actual USDC against uh, Unix token. So the Unix token has been extremely stable. There's 19 days left until the next epoch. When you, whoa, they have a lot of information actually. So deposits, withdrawals, deposits, withdrawals, deposit withdrawals. There's a lot of information here. And you can see also withdrawals and new deposits on the actual chain. So that is quite cool. 
basically a full overview, quite transparent on their yield farming operation. When we go to the launch pad, we basically have the first launch coming up, which is Commerce, which I will cover in a separate video. You can get whitelisted already. And then you basically have the overview, what we already looked at, which we'll make a calculation on. Then we have the DAO, where they basically have the overview, but it's not ready yet. So it's not being implemented, I think, inside the platform yet. They have a full overview of the roadmap. So this is basically the information from the light paper. Then they have a building blog, right? Building blog right here. And then you have all their socials, right? So if we go to Twitter, Telegram, Discord, Twitter sitting at about 60K. So definitely a good one. Unix uh, sitting at about 193K. So definitely big as well. And then Telegram sitting at about 27k, uh, good volume as well. The, the most important thing is the obviously the activity. I think the Discord is definitely focused on the play to earn, not as much as the investors. I spoke with the founding team about it, and there will be some changes very, very soon uh, in regards to this. So the, the Discord will also be made available more to investors, not only focus on the play to earn, or they might make like a separate one. Uh, then the Twitter uh quite active do i follow them i don't follow them yet i am following them now as obviously an investor but you can see the one of the most important things which i think is like drastically important is that you see a lot of these pages that get that boosted followers they have like 60k followers and they get like 11 likes six likes these guys have like 800 retweets 750 likes you know, a thousand retweets. So the community is extremely engaged. And that is one of the things when I, when they said like, oh, we have a big community. I was like, yeah, everybody says they have a big community. I don't really give a fuck, right? I need to see the data. I need to see the proof. And all the data they shown me shows that this is like an actual real thing and not over marketed, over hyped. I didn't even know about Unix before I took the meetings and I was super impressed with what I did see. So a hundred percent bullish on that sign that it's like quite undercover still, right? So let's take a moment to go to Google Drive, basically get a, uh, get a document going there. And make the Unix launchpad calculation. All right, so go to the launch pad. We have to write out the tiers. So we have common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, right? Common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary. Okay, so these are the different tiers. Tiers, tokens. How many tokens do we need? 2,000, 5,000, 20,000. 5,000, 20,000, and then we have 50,000 and 100,000. All right, now we need to know the price per token. Price per token, PPT, and that was according 19, it lists up a little bit, 0 0.1962. And we go take this times this so you can join unix on the lottery pool for 392 dollars right now extremely affordable for the other lottery when we go a little bit higher in price i just need to fix this Ooh, my bad one more it's 981 dollars it's still i would say uh, affordable right uh, you, you gotta play the lottery pool that's how it is that's usually how it goes right but affordable still when we look at the bigger ones, so this is the investment I made into Legendary, uh, 19,000, uh, just under 20,000. I did I did wait a bit. So the price of Unix has been steadily declining since their IDO, right? Just because there hasn't been major announcements. So they opened at $1.46 and there's a linear downward trend. 
And obviously, I've been asking hella questions about fully diluted market cap, volume, all these things. There's no centralized exchange yet. But with the entire ecosystem, this is just not a launch pad, right? People are quite bearish on the project. Um, people say I, I do have some hope, but they haven't released the white paper yet. They, they, people don't know what I know by talking with the founding team for three hours, right? Uh, and, and they will bring that information to the market over the next three to four weeks. So the information will go out there. I'm bullish on the token. I don't really care too much about the token value. I don't need to, to make money on the token because I will hold this long term, maybe even very long term. Like I'm looking at the next two to five years because um, what they have planned, I'm just convinced, right? The team, the, everything they said, it just made sense. I review so, so many projects. And for me, it was really good that they, I'm even looking at a partnership with Unix, right? Um, because I'm so bullish on this. Uh, when we look at the actual token, we couldn't have gotten a better entry point, in my opinion, right? It's just like basically at an all time low, buy when others are fearful is basically the best thing. People are bearish, 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 uh, but not me. I think this is one of the best entries you could possibly get on a launch pad, in my opinion, relative to all the other launch pads. People complain about CDFI, launch and bin starter. Oh, it's too expensive, it's too expensive. Uh, small guys never have an opportunity. Now you have an opportunity, you just are extremely early, right? This launch pad is opening up later this month with their first IGO commerce. I've been told they're only going to do two to three IDOs per month maximum, right? So they're taking it slow. They're going for those high Xs. They're looking at the profitability. They're not looking to launch as many projects as possible, quality over quantity. And I do believe um, that that's uh, the right decision with the volatile market conditions currently, right? So the choice I would say um, is definitely between Epic and Legendary if you're a big player. Uh, common or uncommon, I think rare is basically the least value uh, looking at the pool weight, right? So the pool weight is a little strange here, uh, but definitely I think the private chat with the founding team, if you're a long-term player, is essential. It's a must, right? And I understand $20,000 is a lot of money, right? A lot, a lot, but 100,000 tokens. If the price goes down, you might have a better opportunity, but I just didn't want to wait. You know, I want to get uh, into a partnership with them, uh, work with them and uh, do bigger things. And I just wanted to show my trust towards this team by actually putting my money where my uh, mouth is, the words that I speak when I say I want to support them. So I did buy into this tier, right? So now let's actually look at the pool weight, how that's distributed, right? Because the pool weight is very important in regards to an indication of the allocation, right? So we have 30, 65, 145, 30, 65, 145. Then we have 400 and we say 700 plus private allocation. Uh, let's say 700 then for the biggest one. Yeah, 400, 700. So if we take the sum of this, which is 1040, right? And then we basically take the percentage, which is, um, we assume this is the base times 100 divided by this. Uh, that's not correct. We assume this is the base times 100 divided by this. So they take 52%. Okay, so now I just need to make sure that I fix the number correctly. This, this. Okay, so how much are all these? Is that correct? 2%? 1% would be 13. Yeah, that's correct. All right, perfect. So let's say a project is going to raise 200K on an IGO, right? Which is quite normal. 200k in terms of shmoney, right? $200,000. How much would you get? It's basically this times 0.224. Wait, what? No, there's another zero. No, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Um, how do I change this to percentage? Percentage? No. So I need to remove the 100% here. Yes. Okay, remove the 100%. Okay. One second, guys. One second. Just got to do everything correct. Buy the book. Okay, there we go. So basically, it's this. 
times this so all of the people involved here will share this amount right oh, got to fix that again so depending on how many people will contribute so this is obviously if this is every every section only has one person participating in its pool and there's obviously more people participating so your relative pool weight is like um, it's weight, a weighted distribution. So I don't take that into consideration here. I don't want to make it overly complex, but you can at least see that if there would be only one person in every single tier, this is what the distribution across the 200K yield would look like. You can see that the legendary tier takes most of the money and then it's like linear downward, but it's quite fair based on the investment, right? So when we look at the relative percentage per dollar invested, right so we basically do this divided by this is that correct or the other way around we do this divided by this okay does that make sense can we compare that metric if we pull it down yes so it basically goes down 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 right which is normal which basically means that the money per percentage gain is becoming less and less and less significant right no 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 hang on i think i did that wrong i think we should weigh it on the pool weight i think that's most important okay does that make sense so for every dollar yeah so if i do this times how many times can i fit this into a thousand four no, that's already too much. Three times, right? Thousand, 30 times. And then this times 30. Yeah. So definitely have better profit here. Yeah. So you can see that these two, based on the money to pool weight ratio, this one is higher, right? So that's why I said the rare is probably the least favorable one. But now I'm looking at it. It should go down, 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 down percentage wise right so i don't know obviously i'm not a math genius but i do think that there's definitely some potential there to make a calculation to see which one would bring you the best odds in my opinion let's keep it simple i don't want to confuse you i don't even want to confuse myself right now we see the pool weights it makes sense we uh, we have the percentages we can see that the whales go for the legendary they put in the most money they get the highest allocations right makes sense and that's all good uh, overall, when we look at what they have prepped so far with Unix, I think this is uh, extremely affordable. Still, as soon as the launches happen, so the first launch will be Karmaverse, uh, Karmaverse, and as soon as that basically goes, um, Unix, a crypto gaming guild, is launching Karmaverse. All right, they have a lot of announcements on Karmaverse. They have a Karmaverse YouTube channel, but not really a website yet. Okay, so they do have a lot of videos and everything. It's already two days ago, only it's been uploaded. So not too long ago. But basically, um, the information should be out. I think this is launching end of February, so they still have like two, two and a half weeks to get everything ready. Uh, the most important thing is I think Unix has tremendous potential, um, but that's just my opinion. I always recommend you to do your own research. And of course, nothing in this video is financial advice. It is my opinion at the end of the day. I did, uh, I can show you my MetaMask, right? I have about 100,000 Unix right here. That's the actual proof that I did buy it. Um, and I'm quite bullish on this project in the long term. I have a major announcement coming later today regarding Unix and my own Digits Club. If you are not familiar, it's a private community of investors uh, for IDOs, where we discuss projects, look at different things, uh, and there will be uh, some movement there. That's all I will say about it for now. Unix will be covered on this channel a lot more covering their projects obviously now i'm personally invested into them as well uh, having a look at how good these games actually are and what they will perform in the long term let me know what you think about unix gaming in the comments down below and i'll be sure to have a look if you have any additional questions regarding unix 
feel free to write them. I'll have a look, see if I can answer them. If not, I will point you in the right direction where you'll be able to find answers to your questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.